at us too there's a big difference between us and pokemon <laughs> that is accurate that is very very accurate i mean i mean i'm i'm i mean i think i'm flyer than pokemon but still you know what i mean i don't have I, you know what i mean i ain't got that but come on I, I mean if i heard a name like pokemon i would assume terrence howard has a twitch channel and he's talking about pokemon <sighs> you know that used to be a um that used to be something that um that uh that uh uh Jayberg used to do all the time um at Maine after something. Yeah. Um for for a little while when I was making cookies, I was calling myself Cookie Maine. Um because it is because Jaybird <laughs> um he he did that shit a lot. So that that's you know, when when I think about something like that, I think about him before I think about Terrence Howard. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, but then when you think about one. Jay Bird, you're also thinking about the meme Terrence Howard with the, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 really one of those things where it's like I think of them like one after the other. Like it's not like I I don't ever think of one of them independently. It's always the both. It's always both of them at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So here's the thing. Yeah. I'm sick. It's not COVID. Pretty much like a bad cold. I have pretty much been out of commission most of the week. I did, however, get a lot of Halo played. So, I, so really, that's all I really got to talk about when it comes to when it comes to video games. Um, it, and I did something that I've never done before. Post, I posted in the Discord, but no one ever responded because I responded, like, but it was way late. Oh, you did? I didn't see anybody respond. Oh, huh. gave me. Yeah, it was. Go me. Oh, team. Um. All right. So, so I am I am loaded up on um cold medicine and cough drops. I just I get I get a huge bag of cough drops. If if I had if I told you what I had to do to get this bag of cough drops, you because had to, you had to go to Walgreens. I had to go to Walgreens, but like that I had to go. That was my third Walgreens. Like. The fucking COVID situation around here is horrible. I mean, I know it's pretty bad everywhere, but it is bad here. Like in Richmond, it is really bad. Like patient first open up and they all have to shut down and stop taking people in within the first hour because the line is already wrapped around the building every day. Like this is and then like, you know, I'm I'm sitting here with my fucking jacket on. I'm freezing, even though it's 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 is warm enough for me to be it's warm enough but i am fucking freezing right now i don't feel very good but we we make it we gonna make this bitch work yeah i've so. told some people like back in the day you know the rule was like going to school was like if you ain't throwing up you're going to school you you've got a runny nose you can blow your nose like but right. but normally it would be like it's a, being sick was an inconvenience. That meant I had to blow my nose. My nose was stopped up. I might have been coughing. You, you know what I mean? But now, right. if I have a cold, I, I, it's not like it was before. I think it's got to be just getting older. But, like, I'm, like, out of commission. I'm, like, I am not coming to work. I feel like shit. No, I went to work. Um, now, here's the thing. A couple of people at work got the same thing that I did. Mm-hmm. Um and that's how I know it's not COVID because it's because we have um, at home tests. I told you my my boss has been very paranoid about all of this stuff for quite some time. Um, my my boss has been super paranoid about all of this stuff for quite some time. So um, we uh, so he has all kinds of stuff. He has at home tests. He has every, you know pretty much every day. You know what I mean. So, so he had the at home test. So that's how we know it's not COVID. But I, I could until yesterday. I, I realized I didn't feel good on Tuesday. 
And it took until yesterday for me to be able to find cold medicine. That's how terrible it is around here. I couldn't find regular ass cold medicine. And it, it, I must have showed up at Walmart right when they restocked them shits because I just happened to I just happened to look out yesterday. So it's it's been a it's been a it's been a difficult week. Um, well, it's been a difficult week um, work wise. I did um, I did leave work early one day, um, and then the other days I just kind of stuck it out. Um, but it's been it's been rough. It's been real rough. I seen I'm 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 okay right now because I waited to take my next dose of the medicine about a half an hour ago. So I had I had a half an hour to kind of kick in and stuff like that. And in a minute, you know, I'm gonna be sweating. That's pretty much how this has been working. Like I get I, like when I'm really feeling sick, I start getting like really cold, and then all of a sudden I'm like sweating. It's crazy. It's all of this is just all of this is just bonkers, bruh. It's been a while since we actually did a show. So like, so Christmas and stuff happened, New Year's happened, um, all kinds of stuff. Um, I'm going to say just point blank, both of my Christmas and my New Year's were very low key. Me and Pooh Bear just kind of hung up, hung out and just kind of, just kind of just chilled. Nice, man. You know, on Christmas, we were in Hendersonville, but on New Year's, Amber and the kids were still in Hendersonville and I hung out with my dad because Chris, uh, New Year's Eve is also my dad's birthday. So we just hung okay. out for a little bit, and um, birthday to pops. Yeah, sixty-five. Sixty-five. <laughs> <laughs> did you do that? Come on, t- please tell me you did that. No. Oh, come on, <laughs> come on! You have to do that. I, you have to do that at least. You had to do that at least once that day. <laughs> well, I have all year to do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am totally naming the episode sixty-five. <laughs> but you, you might have to like name it, um, like the word sixty-five, but put more eyes, so it'd be like yeah, sixty. One, one hundred percent. That's what I was gonna do. Okay. <laughs> um, that's that's cool though. You got to hang out with your pops. That's dope. Yeah, and I, um, yeah, it it it, 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 was, it was cool, man. Because we um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> <clears throat> but what was um kind of crazy is because you'll think I, I know you're feeling this for a while now, but like you'll think, man, it would be kind of cool to have the house myself for a little bit just to get a few things done. Maybe I can, you know, just play this one game all day, whatnot. But when you gotta work and stuff, like the worst part it was at night, like going to bed, like and there's like nobody in the house but me. You, you know what I mean? It was just like super weird and like really boring. And, like, I'd be at work, and then I'd come home, and, you know, I'd play for a little bit. But the um, the coolest was that Sunday, like, during the day. Like, having a house to myself during the day was kind of cool. But, like, it still was, like, really rainy, and I just kind of mostly just watched The Office and just, like, benched out, you know. Didn't really play much. I'm, I'm going to tell you, here's the, thing about, here's the thing about that. Okay. Everything is all good for maybe the first two days. The first two days are like hell yeah. I I can be I'm by myself. You know if I feel like I can go get the good jerk. You know the good jerk when ain't nobody home. Like you know what I mean where you could just kind of splay out and let it rock. You know what I mean like rock out with your cock out. You know that that type of thing. Yeah. Um, but it, it does. That's a good strong feeling for like two days. But like the one thing, especially when you have a family, the one thing that starts getting to you is the silence. Because yeah. when you are a parent, when you're a parent, silence means danger. <laughs> you know what I mean? And <clears throat> it's hard to turn that off. Uh, it's hard to turn that off because like that silence means. I need to go check and see what the fuck's going on out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so, so when you're a parent, silence means danger, and it's hard to turn that off because even if during that time period you can turn it off. Yes, yeah. Know, there's times where, <clears throat> when my first, when Aiden was younger, like I'll be driving without him in the car, and I'd be like, "Oh shit, did I leave Aiden? Because there's nobody else. I didn't even take him. Like, what am I talking about?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it's like, it, and but you know that you can't really like let that feeling go because eventually you got to turn it back on when everybody's back home. So yeah. like you you have this constant back and forth. Like sometimes, especially after the first two days, like your fight or flight instincts really kind of kick in and then like it makes you wish that you just had that noise just to make yourself feel more comfortable because like you know what i mean like you you know you got a little rambunctious young man like young rouse and like you know when you got when you got a rambunctious young man like young rouse around the house silence is danger yeah <laughs> is danger so like i understand that but like yeah the 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 first two days are usually like all right this is dope and then the the other days is just like man i miss my family but i don't want to tell them because then they won't ever leave me alone again (laughs) (laughs) Uh, i've had that i've had that and actually it happened to me um what the the year honor warfare 2 came out the year Modern Warfare 2 came out, I um my around the same time where the game came out, my uh, my ex-wife and my daughter went to go visit her parents. I didn't have the time off work, so I had to stay. I didn't I didn't have I didn't have two weeks off work. So I I had to stay. Okay. But they were gone for two weeks. <clears throat> and man, two weeks. Two weeks was like Man, after the first couple of days, it's just like, I, I don't like this. I don't like this feeling. And like, yes, I get to play Modern Warfare 2 with the homies. And this is great. And it's how I met a bunch of friends. I met a bunch of friends uh, playing Modern Warfare 2. Um, it, shit, Jaybird is one of them. Um, and I'll, also, friends. I don't know how to cook just for myself. Unless it's just making a sandwich. Dude, I, I, made, have- I, I made a pot of chili. Dude, I had to throw most of that chili away. I made Philly cheesesteaks. I, I, there were so many Philly cheesesteaks. <laughs> I'm guilty. I'm guilty of the exact same thing. And to this day, to this day, I still do the exact same thing. Because I, I, don't, I only know one way to cook things. Well, I, so I mean, I, you can't make you know, like a plate of spaghetti. You know what I mean? You know like, what I mean? There's not a, a recipe for that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, technically you can't. I mean, me, the... Technically, I can cut mine in half. It's possible. Do I want to? Yeah, but if you make no. a half, <coughs> if you make a half a pound of spaghetti, you're gonna have to like take the ground beef and put it back in the freezer with the with the. Th- <laughs> you know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah. It's like, so it's, it's still not, it's not it's. I mean, it's possible, but like, no, I got a big ass fucking. I got a big ass fucking bowl of spaghetti that I made last week while I was sick that I didn't quite eat. Because I was sick and I wasn't eating very much, um, I still got that bowl of fucking spaghetti sitting right there, and it's a big ass bowl, and ain't nobody here but me. Yeah, no, nobody here but me. But I still do that shit to this day. I make a whole bunch of, I make, I make the food the way that I know how to make the food, right. and then I'd be like, shit, I'm eating this for the next three fucking days. And, and when I was younger, I, I would throw down some frozen shit. But man, like, cause sometimes at work, that's we'll we'll be at the grocery store or whatever. I was like, well, let me get this first or whatever, just so I have something at work. And then it's I don't know if they just got worse, but they they're just not good. They just they don't they just don't compare to what you can do yourself. Yeah, I think I think that's I think what it is, that's what it is for me. Uh, there's there's no comparison of what to what I can do myself. And the only things that are um, pretty good are the ones that are like loaded with cheese, and then those are going to like fuck me up. It be that work. <laughs> yeah. So like yeah, I have the same issues. I I take a lot of, I I take a lot of lactate around this bitch, like a lot, um, because I'm just kind of like I don't. I don't know what else to well I know I know other things that I could possibly do. I just don't know what those things are to be done. You know what I mean? Like I, it's it's not a question of can I, it's a question of should I. Like when I go shopping and I buy stuff, it's just like, okay, I am going to make this meal. Like shit, what I did for Thanksgiving, I made a big fucking meal just for me. What I did for Christmas, I made a big fucking meal just for me because, of course, my daughter doesn't. I don't want to eat that. I don't want to eat that. Well, what the fuck do you want to eat for Christmas? Uh, can you buy me a margarita pizza? Are you fucking kidding me? What is a margarita pizza? It's just a different. It's, it's a it's a pizza, but it's 
made differently and it doesn't look appetizing to someone like me at all. I, to me, it's no pizza if it ain't got no pepperoni. I'm sorry. If it ain't got no pepperoni, you just put a whole bunch of vegetables and like sliced tomatoes and shit on top of it. No, nah, I'm good. You can have that shit, dog. Well, uh, well, I mean, I can get down with experimental pizza and I do, I do dig the pepperoni. I, I mean, I'm not going to... But I just can't get down just plain cheese, though. Like, it's just too plain. Mm-hmm. It's not, a, to me, it's not a pizza if it don't have pepperonis, at least. Right, to you. But, like, technically, me, technically the, the thing that makes a pizza a pizza is just a crust. Like, that's the thing. Is like, the red sauce, you don't have to have that. You don't have to have cheese. Like, yeah, I, I, when um when Chibi D moved to Japan, uh, he was talking about them, the Asian people. They don't, sometimes they don't do red sauce as mayonnaise. Well, I mean, I like mayonnaise, but I don't know about putting it on pizza. It just, I mean, I ain't try it. I ain't tried it, it there. It says sometimes it's mayonnaise, and like they did stuff like you know, mayonnaise was the you know, mayonnaise is what they dip their fries and shit into too. Like yeah. mayonnaise is a big deal over there. Well, I mean, I I've had pizza with white sauce, but white sauce is like Alfredo or whatnot. You know? Yeah, I, I, <laughs> if it ain't got a red sauce, it don't count. If they ain't got a red sauce, it don't count. I don't even I don't even fuck with like it's not even like I don't like Alfredo. It's just I've never tried Alfredo. When I go to you, when you I never tried you I, I've how, never tried how, how, how old are you, man? And I've you, never tried Alfredo. <laughs> Every time I go to Olive Garden, right, and I get the tour of Italy, that's my jam, right? Yeah. I have them replace the Alfredo with some spaghetti, then put meat sauce on everything. You know, have you ever had a tour before? Uh, yeah, but it's been a long time since I've been to Olive Garden. Yeah. So for the for the people who the, for the people who uh, don't know, the tour of Italy is lasagna, chicken parm, and it comes with Alfredo. But I have them switch out the Alfredo to spaghetti and put meat sauce on everything, and then keep the cheese going when it's, when they come just, out with the, with the with the roller. When they come out with the roller, though, I'm gonna need you to do that on on this whole plate. I want meat sauce on the whole plate, and I want you to roll it up on the whole plate, dog. It, that's just crazy, though. Like, cause like, well, my, I, I've not dogged you in a while, you know. And, like, and some people would like go harder than I would, but like, like being adventurous with food. But like, Alfredo's like some basic shit, man. And they, and that's like <laughs> exotic for you, man. That's crazy. <laughs> it looks like I'm freezing on the um on the, on the video. Yeah, you're. You're you're glitching a little bit to me, but I, I think okay. you you've always kind of did that a little bit. But I think that's mostly to do with um using the browser. Okay, all right. Um, but, um, but yeah, yeah. Well, no, they they got into me on a um on an episode of um of Return to Oswald. Uh, AKA Cocaine Cougars. Um, they went in on me one day on my 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 think my issues with steak. Well, you you just need to keep that shit to yourself around, especially around no. someone like Rashani and his people. No, see, yeah, Rashani is Rashani is a chef, and he's like real bougie. And like apparently, apparently that even if I don't like mine uh, uh, well done anymore, that still doesn't count. Like it's I don't I don't take my well done anymore. You know what I mean? Some pink is cool with me. Like you know what I mean? But yeah. no, they want some. They want some real pink. And apparently, steak sauce is like a big fucking deal to them. They just I mean and then, I mean of course. And then when I say that I do steak uh, the steak sauce and with ketchup, of course that's an affront. But like just the steak sauce was an affront on its own. And I have no, I had no idea that there was these bougie ass fucking people out here. Yeah. Don't, well, I mean, the, who doesn't want the fucking A one on their steak, dog? I'd rather have A one on a burger than on my steak, because the the, the um, A one is just so strong, it's just going to like overpower everything. That's you why know? I mix it with the ketchup. You see how that works? But like, that's like that's see, a, that's like some trailer park <laughs> shit, man. Come on. <laughs> I mix ketchup with my barbecue sauce too when I'm dipping my fries. But. I can I, get I, I can get down with that with the fries with the f- the ketchup. I used to put I used to use ketchup on everything and like I used to could it would it wouldn't be worth it for me to buy ketchup from the regular store. Like I had to buy it at Costco. It made no sense for me to buy it anywhere. I've been so far removed from ketchup since since I don't really eat it that much. When I do, I'm like I'm gonna have some ketchup on these fries. It just it feels like I'm eating a dessert. It's so sweet. <laughs> 
like because I have it, I just don't eat it a lot. So when I do eat it, I'm not used to the sweetness of it. It's it's very very very. And <laughs> okay, I understand. I you know like sometimes sometimes if you don't have something for a while, and then like when you have some, it's just like and then also like you know you're getting old. Um, yeah, you know everything everything is going to be too sweet and too salty at some point. And you're just gonna be like, what? Why the fuck is this shit so salty? Yeah. And just like, what, what I, I was, I, I hung out with. Well, Max came over, which we started our David Lynch podcast. But um, we he came over on Tuesday and we hung out and had some beers and and did the thing. And then I went over to his house on Thursday. So so while the people were out, I, I was trying to like socialize a little bit, not be just by myself. And uh. But we were talking, and we were talking about that same thing. You're like, man, when you were a kid, you were like, man, when I'm an adult, I can eat all the cookies and all the sweets and everything when I get older because no one can tell me not to. And then when you get older, everything is too sweet. And you're like, universe, you know. <laughs> you, you, why, why, why do this to me, dog? Yeah. Like, why, universe, it's me, dog. Like, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> universe, it's you me. Could, when I When I have the time to, like, eat sweets and then now I don't like them you, you know like I don't even want to say it <laughs> that's, that's, that would have been a show if it wasn't for 65 that would have been that would have been the show title universe just me dog like that, <laughs> that would have been the show title um <laughs> man I just man I just been it, it's weird because now um I, I had to go to the doctor um leading up to leading up to Christmas I went to the doctor a couple of times and I, I went to, uh, I was having problems, um, uh, because I, I didn't get my medicine refilled in time uh-huh. and I had to go. So, um, so then my foot was hurting. So I had to go back. So I went on a, I went on a Saturday and I spent a long time in patients first because patients first is my primary that's like you know what i mean that's my primary doctor because i can go whenever the fuck i feel like it you know what i mean like i don't have to worry about no no, no appointments none of that shit you know what i mean i just whenever i feel like i need to go i can go and i can see a doctor you know what i'm saying Patients first works out for me but um but i um th- do you know these motherfuckers told me i have high blood pressure and i'm like how the fuck do i have high blood pressure first of all i don't eat nowhere near as bad as i was eating before mostly because i live alone and that money gotta go to my rent my light bill i gotta keep my lights on so like i so i'm not eating as much as i was eating before i'm not eating the same types of shit i was eating before well sometimes it, like when it comes to i mean cholesterol that that that's something different because that comes literally comes from meat and stuff but like blood pressure can be just just your, it only have nothing to do with your food you know yeah, yeah. I I just thought it was crazy because I never had issues with blood pressure before, like never. And like all of a sudden now I'm on blood pressure medication, and like oh, I'm like, what the fuck? Why, how how the fuck did I get here? Um, but he You're was like, like, dude, this is like, this is this is like AARP type shit, man. I still play video games. Let me tell you what this the the fucking doctor fucking doctor was a dick like you know what i mean because it's patients first and there's you know they got doctors they rotate in and out that type of shit right yeah but well, being a dick is a very patient first is it uh i know right but the guy was kind of the guy was kind of a dick and i i saw him both times both times when i went that saturday and when i went that monday um and um he um he was like well you need to limit your salt intake and all of this other stuff and i'm like Where the fuck do i use salt Everything is too salty already. I don't add no salt to nothing. What are we talking about here? You eat a lot of canned stuff? No. I'm, I, I'm, I've i never been a canned person. I am always a... Um, if I do vegetables and shit like that, motherfucker, it's about it's about these it's about these steaming bags, dog. Like, what are we talking about here? Right, okay. I'm steaming in a bag. I'm bougie, nigga. Like, what are we talking about? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm, this this me, dog universe this me dog like yeah. what are we talking about i'm bougie i don't do no i don't do a whole bunch of cans i did yeah. recently i did recently start doing some things with some cans though because i learned how to make um i learned how to make uh uh corn pudding or corn casserole which some people call it one way or the other mm-hmm. and i learned how to make that for i learned how to make that for christmas and oh that shit was dope 
I've never had this. I've never had it before. Um, apparently, some people got some real reactions. Like the, the homie Ron Block said that he has a just a just. Uh, I think just the name um, kind of makes him wretch a little bit. And I'm like, I don't know. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I, I don't know because I I just tried it for the first time and that shit seemed great. But it, it technically you can use. You can use something other than cans for the actual regular corn, but you have to use a can of cream corn. You can't just buy cream corn in a bag. And, and then also cream corn, because I was about to say, like, if you if you wanted some, like, green beans or whatever, you take the green beans, you give them a good rinse, that's going to rinse most of the shit off, and then it's basically, like, fresh. Like, like it's, it, you know, yeah, you it, it's pretty healthy. <laughs> Well, that, you but you can't, can't you can't you gonna you can't risk you, you can't risk, risk the cream corn though you gonna risk all of the cream out yeah um but I learned how to do that and that's been cool but here's the thing all right in by since the last time we've done a show I've made this recipe at least four times the cr- the corn thing why have I made it four times. Because after I made it the first time, I decided I was going to do it. I was going to do it. And I was going to try to do the shit from memory. And it was always when the shit is halfway done in the fucking thing that I realized I forgot something. Like one time I forgot to put the eggs in. But that's when and, that, that's and like what? you start remembering what? stuff better when you forget it. Because then you're hyper focused on it. So then you won't forget it. No, but I did this shit three times, though. Oh, you forgot the <laughs> eggs three times? No, no, no. I forgot the eggs one time. I forgot the sour cream one time. I, you know what I mean? I forgot a little bit of extra sugar that you add to it one time. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so each time, it was like, okay, I forgot the eggs last time. Let me make sure that I got the eggs, and then that's how I forgot the sour cream. And it was, and look. It's the, like, the it's like forgot- that recipe was like, you had all the ingredients. It's like, you like, pick five and one you're going to forget. Like, so you have to pick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and what had happened was, what had happened um, with the sour cream, it was funny because I was like, yo, shit came out different. I had no idea why it came out different. I was like, okay. But it looked like it got, it, it looks like it cooked better. You know what I mean? It was, it was a little bit more like cornbread. You know what I mean? So I'm just like, all right, I guess I'm just going to eat it like cornbread. Like my fucking cornbread. It'd be all right. Yeah. And then I went to, the, and then I went to the fridge to go get something to drink and the fucking sour cream is sitting right there. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> You know what I mean? That type of thing. So like, I, I would time, just like pull everything out that you're gonna need and set it all like. So then, hopefully, you won't forget it. Nah, what I'm gonna do the next time I make it, and I did buy stuff, to make it again. Bought stuff to make it again. Okay. So that's the, so that's gonna happen soon. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually print out the recipe. I'm gonna print out the recipe because with my with my cookies. No, oh man, the cookies took off. Like I was selling, I was shipping cookies all everywhere. Um, and, and like the cookie, I made a pretty decent amount off of selling cookies, and I was I was selling cookies four at a time because these things are massive. Um, so I I did, I did pretty well. Um, leading up to leading up to Christmas with the cookies. Um, and then people started asking me for weird shit, like you know what I mean. Somebody somebody want me to get some macadamias and all that other shit, and I was just like, "Are right, you paying the extra for this shit?" Because I mean, I got nuts, but I ain't got macadamias. You know what I'm saying? Um, and blue, blue in the chat. See, look, see, this is why I don't. This is why I don't. This is why I, I try not to bear my soul around people like blue. And he said when he cooked from a recipe, he had a thing on on a tablet, not on paper. I. I can do it on my tablet. I really can. I can do it on my tablet, but two things about that. One, I rarely think to use my tablet. Two, if it's something that I know I'm going to make a lot, like when I make my cookies and stuff like that, I printed it out because, I mean, I print stuff out at work, so it's not like it's on me. Um, and I just, I, I thumbtack that bitch to the wall because I know that I'm going to keep coming back to this same recipe. So I put that on the wall. So it's just one of those things. And, bruh, let me tell you something. On Christmas, I made this meatloaf, dog. Okay, t- t- tell me about the meatloaf now. Now, the meatloaf the meatloaf is a meatloaf I've been making for a while. Okay. It's, it's a recipe, and instead of breadcrumbs, you use stovetop, right? Okay. Stove I've, I've, used, I've used a multitude of the different types of things in, in meatloaf to try different things out. I've, I've used breadcrumbs. I've used stovetop. I've used... Uh, oatmeal. I've used pretty much anything never, you can think of. 
I never done none of that. I, I've done I've done I've done breadcrumbs. I've done stove top, and that's pretty much where it goes. And I've done the stove top different ways. There's times where I put it in the ninja and ground it up. Well, not like oatmeal, fun. but like oats, like just like straight yeah. up oats. <clears throat> yeah. Um. So let me tell you, this meatloaf is so slamming, and my glaze, dog, my glaze. Okay. Is it? It set that thing off so right. I just kept eating, dog. Like I was like, yo, the first, when I okay, what I is made, your, what, I, what is your glaze? It is it is a it is a, a specific ratio, but it's basically just ketchup, barbecue sauce, but a specific barbecue sauce, and and brown sugar. Okay. When I tell you that thing hit, that thing hit like it Cause, hit hit. Because I will say that ketchup meatloaf is the one thing that I definitely use ketchup on, and a lot of it, but. The um, but I was thinking about doing more uh barbecue sauce. I, I wasn't sure. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I definitely, I definitely mix mine together, and I brush that bitch on. You know what I mean? I brush, I brush it on, and make it look all nice. It got the little rose and stuff from the little, from the little brush. And I, you know, I feel, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm that motherfucker sometimes. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like, and it's just me because my, of course, my daughter wanted her margarita pizza, so she ain't eat none of this shit. I actually, I forced her to eat some of it. Um, I'm like, no, you ain't got to eat all of it, but I need you to eat some. But um, she wanted her fucking margarita pizza, motherfucker. Um, and th- that thing hit. That thing hit like real hard. Um, I d- did. Did I tell you? Did I tell you that I bought a um, I bought a Nintendo Switch for a hundred dollars. Uh uh-uh. uh Oh, let me tell you. All right, so what had happened was Christmas Eve, right? My ex calls me. Um, she fell down and hurt herself, and she needed me to. She wanted me to take her to patients first because her knee was hurting her. Um, and like her, she, her daughter and the grandkids were there, but of course you don't really want to pack up all the kids to go sit at fucking patients first. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, so she asked me to do it, so I did it. And while we were sitting there waiting, there's a GameStop right there by patients first. Okay. And I wanted to buy myself something for Christmas because I knew I won't get nothing from nobody. So I wanted to buy myself something from Christmas for Christmas. So I bought a battery charger for my Xbox. Okay. And it had it had diff- it had different battery backs on it so that you could use it for the Xbox One controllers and the series controllers. Okay. Um so so yeah, so I did that and then I said I wanted to buy something that, you know, I, I bought I bought Spider Man for the PS4. Just just something just randomly to do. So I'm in there, right? And it's Christmas Eve, right? It's Christmas Eve. So like this there's things happening. So I heard somebody call and the dude in the dude in GameStop told somebody that a switch light was like three hundred they were selling those shits for like three three hundred dollars. I was like, all right, cool. You know, that's what it is. And then a while, a, 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 a little while later, because I'm just kind of looking around at this point, because I got time to kill, because she's at patients first. So I walked across the street. Um, well, now I went across the street, and so I'm at I'm at fucking GameStop. This lady walks in with a little kid, and the guy, the guy, the runner, the guy who's walking around, not the ones, one of the ones behind the counter, um, the one of the. People, one of the type of people that I was, if you worked at if you worked at uh, GameStop, you know that there's usually the person that's kind of walking around, straightening up shelves, asking people if they can help them and all that kind of shit. Um, if if it's if it's like a busy time, especially on weekends and stuff like that, and that's pretty much what I was when I was at was when I was at um, when I was when I worked at GameStop that one season. Um, so she asked him what the trade in was on the Switch Lite. Okay. He told her that the trade-in was $100, and it was $80 in cash if she wanted that cash. So she was like, I was, she was like, all right, I guess I'm getting, I guess I'm getting $80 for this thing. And I said, I'm about to come up on something. And I've done this in, in like, game stores before. But I said, Sam, do you have cash app? She said, yes. I said, I'll give you $100 to your cash app so you can get the whole $100 instead of having to take away $80. I take the I give you the whole hundred dollars for that thing right now. No questions asked. Um, you know, the the thing was dead, so I didn't even know if it worked at the time. You know what I mean? Like, so like I'm just like, yo, I'll do this. I'll give you the hundred dollars, no questions asked, because that's ridiculous that they only gonna give you eighty dollars for something that they said it's a hundred it's worth a hundred dollars, but they only gonna give you eighty. So I was like, yo, I'll give you the whole hundred dollars. So we stood there and 
Um, we we did it. She handed me the joint, so I had a switch light. That motherfucker still had Smash Brothers in that bitch, and it came with a little case. <laughs> and she gave me, she gave me the whole bag, and like I ain't even I ain't even want the Smash Brothers. I've never played Smash Brothers in my life, so I don't know anything about Smash Brothers. Yeah, you know I, I mean? I've played it, but I I don't know. And, and, and yeah, I was drinking when I did play it, but like I, I mean, I played it before, but I've never like understood it because it's not like a um. Kick, like knockout type game, and people right. are. I mean, it's the esports, see, but like, I so I, I just don't know. It just seems like a bunch of nonsense on screen. That's very much so. But like, hey, I'm like, hey, <laughs> straight. So, so I got, so I got a switch. So I got a switch. Light, hundred dollars. I I got out. I was sitting in the car, and I kind of plugged it. I kind of plugged it into my charger that's in the car. The motherfucker turned on, and I'm like, oh, shit, oh yeah. So like. So like so then I went and um it's it's just a ring out king son you just kick people off the stage I I guess I don't know I, like I said uh, in I, I mean I, I get I, I get kicking the people off the stage but like like the I, I don't know how to be good at it because it just seems like people are doing stuff I have no idea it's not a button masher like they're doing stuff. Oh. He said, uh, "Blue said he thought that I didn't play the switch that I already had. That is true. That is one hundred percent true. But here's the thing: I had Pooh Bear with me, and I had conned Pooh Bear already um, into only giving her a hundred dollars for Christmas because she said she wanted some money. And of course, Pooh Bear is thirteen; she doesn't realize that a hundred dollars isn't a lot of money. So she said, "I want some money." And I was like, "Okay, so what, is, what do you want? Like a hundred dollars?" She said, "Yes." I was like, "All right, cool. I'll give you a hundred dollars for Christmas." Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh knowing that on a normal Christmas I would have spent way more than that. But um but I gave I gave it to her and like she she started playing and she started playing Diablo of all of the stuff. She started playing my Diablo because I had Diablo for my for my Switch. I had I had the cartridge. Um so then me and her played Diablo. I forgot about Diablo. I forgot all about Diablo. So me and her started playing Diablo. I don't know why the fuck we decided to play that shit on PlayStation. I have no fucking idea why I decided to play this shit on PlayStation, but apparently that was the move for us. We started playing Diablo on PlayStation, and we were having a good time um, until until we just kind of stopped and we just kind of never went back. Um, but we should have played on Xbox because we game share and we have access to the same digital version of fucking Diablo. Like it, it would have been a better idea to play the shit on Xbox, but right. no, I wasn't thinking at the time. Um, but yeah, so I get so I gave it to her, um, and she didn't she didn't want to keep Diablo, um, because she was gonna take the little money that she got for Christmas and the money that she got from uh from from her other people, um, and she want she wanted Animal Crossing, so I was just like, you know what, we do the Animal Crossing, and I paid for her to get her ears repierced, um, and let and me that, tell you, it's it's crazy, man. That Animal Crossing got reach, man. Like I don't know, like like there's people. I mean, I know what it is, and I get what it is. Is but there's people that I wouldn't think that would be into that game that are into that game. It's like dudes be like, I play Madden, Call of Duty, and Animal Crossing, and I'm like, okay, if that's how we yeah. go to play it. But <laughs> yeah, you know, you know what, you know what happened with me with the Diablo shit. I remember right, the last time I played Diablo, right, last time I played Diablo on PlayStation. I played the game with you. Yeah. And you you were a much higher level than I was. So we were playing those riffs and I got leveled up real fast, right? Yeah. Apparently, apparently, I was still on the level of whatever those riffs were. So I was so I she so picked a she picked a wizard character and I was like, Oh yeah, I got a I got a high level wizard. And I was like, I'm gonna show you something. So I pulled up a regular rift. What's it called? A Nephilim rift? Mm-hmm. Um and so I pulled out a Nephilim riff, and, and I'm that like, shit was oh, like on like four man five. <laughs> exactly, and I got I kept getting fucked up. I was just like, yo, it was just like, like the moment I walked in there, it was like, yeah, you about to die. I was like, what the fuck just happened? And I was like, oh yeah, that's probably what happened. Um, but yeah, uh, he says he's not a Nintendo fan. The only thing he like of theirs is Bayonetta. I'm not a Nintendo fan either. The only Nintendo game I have for my Switch is Mario Kart. Mm-hmm. I have no other actual like Nintendo Nintendo games for my Switch. Mario Mario Kart is the shit. So like you know, and it's a game that anybody can fucking play because yeah. if, if you got if you got the little fucking Joy Cons, you can fucking steer them shits. You know what I mean? Like so like 
even if you don't know how to play fucking video games, you can play fucking Mario Kart. And right. you can still have some you can still have some fun with everybody else. So that that part. Um, yeah, it's funny you're mentioning some Diablo because like I mean, I'm trying because I because I'll get into a thing. I'm like, man, why does Blizzard have to be such a fucking shit show? I miss Diablo, and I I want to like be the person that's because the only because it was real easy with Blizzard because the only thing I cared about was Diablo, and I was like, well, if I'm gonna give up anything, it's just one game. You know what I mean? So then I was like, I kind of want something that's like Diablo. See, here's my thing. Here's my thing, I, and I feel the same. I feel the same way about R. Kelly. Yeah, I know well, exactly well, well, I, I, I know, but like before we get into that, I, I was looking up games like that, and I knew I had one called Grim Dawn, right? And a lot of people liked it, but that game runs like shit. And then I looked it up, and you're like, oh yeah, it's an old build, it's like an old engine, it's just how it does on certain things. I was like, dude, I should be, it was running like 10 to 15 frames per second. Now I'm like, dude, I can run Destiny at 60. I should be able to run Grim Fucking Dawn at like higher than that. But then, so I was like, well, fuck Grim Dawn. I tried a game called Victor Vran, and that game ran great. And the dude who played Geralt is that, is that the one that Witch Connor used to talk about all the time? Well, um, AZ Rockslap talked about it. Yeah, AZ, AZ, AZ Rockslap used to talk about Victor Vran all the time. Yeah, but it's it's really I'm fun. AZ Rockslap, I ain't talked to my man's in, in, in them in a long time. Yeah, it, it's really fun, and uh, like the dude who plays Geralt plays Victor Vran, and he's he's just playing Geralt. <laughs> it's the same voice, <laughs> like he's not changing nothing. <laughs> so yeah, sometimes but, the the only voice is the one you got. Yeah, just do that. He's like, God, my name is God, Victor God. Vran, and I kill it's, monsters. It's, <laughs> it's like it's, it's like movies that star Bill Murray. Like Bill Murray plays Bill Murray in movies. Right. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, that's what you're getting. But here's my thing. Here's my thing about it. Yeah, yeah, blue. I got, I got those two. I, I haven't dug into those, but like, like Victor Van and the uh, uh, Helsing games were all like on sale for like you would get everything for like three dollars. And it's been a while since I've got most of anything that I would ever want on Steam, where I, I found something I would actually want. This like everything for three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, but here's what I here's what I feel about the whole thing about Blizzard and all this other stuff. Um, they already got my money on Diablo on three platforms. Like yeah, they, they got, already got my they money. got my money too. But like playing Diablo on PC, I have to like download their client and like be signed into their servers. And I'm like, I don't really want to download their client right now. I just want to play Diablo. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> and so I'm and I, like I said, I feel the same way about R. Kelly. Um, like yo. Anything R. Kelly already got me for, he got me for. And I'm not going to throw away some shit that I paid for. Stupid. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not I'm not one of those Republican people that's going to burn shit just because I don't like this fucking, uh, I don't like this company anymore. So I'm going to, I'm going to burn my fucking coffee maker. Like, it, 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 nobody's, I'm, I'm, nobody's immune to that shit, man. Because I just saw yeah. some, um, some people burning Harry Potter books and on the other side of the fence. And I was like, what are you guys doing? Harry Potter books? Oh, because of JK. Turf. Because because of JK. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't give. A fuck. I, I, I was like, <laughs> I was like, man. I was like, man. So, uh, you know the um the, <laughs> so, so so they now have something in common with their um conservative like Christian grandmother. They they both want to burn Harry Potter books <laughs> for different yeah, reasons. Because I, <laughs> I, I remember it. like back in the nineties, that was a thing. You know, like. They thought Harry Potter books were satanic because it dealt with wizardry, and now it's for a different reason. I was like, "Stop burning books!" Just I'm I'm stop. I'm a fan, and like <laughs> I said, she already got me for so much already because I'm a fan, um, and I'm a, you know I'm a fan of the books and the movies, and also I I bought a casual vacancy. I'm lying. I downloaded that shit, but um, I bought a casual vacancy. I'm just gonna say that. I'm gonna say that I bought it. Yeah, I, I bought it. Um, a casual vacancy. The the book that she uh, r- wrote under a pseudonym because it, it ain't had nothing to do with none of the Harry Potter stuff. Um, and I really enjoyed that book. Um, so, but like, she already got me, dog. Like, so like, you know, it, it, as long as I'm not giving you any more money, like, if I'm as long as look with Diablo, as long as I don't actually purchase a necromancer, I think I'm okay. You know what I mean? You already got me for what you got me for. And like maybe you know, I, I you know, maybe the shit didn't happen yet, or maybe I was just unaware. 
you already got me for what you got me for. So I'm not gonna like get rid of my shit because well, and it's not like Harry Potter around. in the books is out there like putting spells on trans people, you know? Exactly. It's it's and and it's not like it's not like R. Kelly where like the the art is based off of the is based off of the deviance. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, the 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 art is separate from her views on certain things. Yeah, that's fine. But um, but like no 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 dog, you already got me. You already got me. And like I said, with Diablo, I own Diablo on three platforms. I own it on Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch. Like you you got me, dog. <laughs> like, and I ain't about to get rid of my shit because of that. Like, no, thank you. I don't really, I don't, I don't really have no other Blizzard games that I really care about. So yeah, like, I mean that's the thing. It's like they don't really make very much stuff. They're like Rockstar. Like what they do make. I, I mean, I'm not a WoW person, but you know, I've heard that WoW is, you know, the classic or best MMO or whatever. A lot of people play WoW and a lot of people love WoW. It's kind of like Rockstar to where like they make GTA, they make Red Dead. Those are very here's, good, but they don't really make many much health outside of that. Here's my thing about uh, World of Warcraft. I just found it real difficult to think about the fact that I got to pay you $15 a month for one game. You know what I mean? Like, I got to pay you $15 a month to play one game? Are you out of your fucking mind? Right. I, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, for, that was the thing know, that I never understood about like when people would like get mad at Destiny, and then this new stuff with Destiny, yeah, I, I, I don't care for that. And none of it's good, I don't think. But, like, getting mad at Destiny, be like, oh, man, now I gotta pay $50 again, you know, that it's been a year. I, I, I was like, well, if Molly- you, you obviously aren't a WoW player, because cause that uh, $15 a month is a lot more than $50 a year. My only problem with Destiny is like you're gonna take this thing that I spent money on and then you're just gonna take it away at some point. Yeah, that's like, a new I, thing, and I do not agree with that. And the, and you know, Matta fight me on that. You know that you know stuff that we haven't played in a while. But I don't care if I haven't touched it in three years. I still paid for it. Right. Exactly. And like that that campaign that I paid for at launch is no longer there. You know what I mean? And yeah. then and so I played it when it was a part of Game Pass, but as soon as they took that shit off Game Pass, I stopped playing. And I was having fun. And that also tells me that they don't even care about their own art. They care about making money. Like, to where, like, they don't even want people to experience that campaign that people worked on. Yeah, and the worst part about it is, like, we hey. thought, good, they, they separated from Activision. We might actually get some fair shit. And then it was like, nah, dog, this is who we are. I'm like fuck that. Like <laughs> you know, if this is who you are. Then I, I I won't be a part of your game unless it comes back to Game Pass, and then it's only, it's only popping. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, okay. So um, I mean, so we've already been talking about video games. Have you played anything? I have, and um, well, I mean, still doing the Guardians of the Galaxy. I've been playing a little bit, but I think I'm pretty much at the end of that, and that's still that's still a very good game. But um, my son. For Christmas, got the uh, the uh, this thing. What do you call it? Uh, Oculus Quest. Okay. And um, did you buy that? I did not. My mother-in-law did. She was getting her kids those, and and then her kids. We were going to be there for, and she was like, "There's no way Aiden's going to be up here, and everybody get Oculus Quest by him." <laughs> you know, so she got him one too. And That's then, dope, but I've seen some shit. Like I've seen some people like really um, getting their VR headsets for Christmas and be knocking each other the fuck out and shit. I saw this one dude beating the fuck out of a child. He was playing some sort of boxing game and he had the little the little things that go around your hands and shit. And he was working, and the child was coming to see what the fuck was going on. It was like, hey, daddy, and just. Damn, he caught. I mean, it was a like a left hook, like like right, like. I, and was it a hook or was it kind of a l- little bit of an uppercut? I don't know what the fuck it was, but this 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 young child that couldn't have been older than maybe five just caught the illest left <laughs> because dad was in this headset and he was boxing his ass off, and this child caught a vicious left. Yeah, you gotta. Saying, I, yeah, yeah, you gotta like map out your. Which is cool, you, you know, because you map out your play area, and if you step out of that play area, there's cameras on the front, then all of a sudden you can see, like, a black and white version of, so, like, if you need to, like, get your phone or something, you can go get it, 
and then come back into the play area. And but yeah, yeah, say like, dude, just don't come around the play area because you might get hit or whatever. But I'm I'm also not as flamboyant with it, not flamboyant, but like as because I yeah expressive. Like I've the golf thing, that was some real shit. Like I. I, I got him the golf thing. I was like, he needs something at least that's a little bit of an exercise. And I played 18 holes of that shit. And I was like, dude, <laughs> <laughs> dude it, it was legit, man. And, um, the, uh, and well, my main thing was like, he can do whatever he wants, but like every night I, I, I've, I mean, I be, I'm a big half-life fan, you know? So I was like, get the link cable and I'm going to play half-life Alex. You know what I mean? And, that like I'm not really I wouldn't I wouldn't say I dislike VR, but I'll I'll be like a I'm not like super super into VR, but I just like good games and Half Life Alex is a very good game. And like but last night you know the dudes that like in, in the first Half Life you were kinda of fighting them because they were like enslaved or whatnot, but in the second one they were like helping you. They're like these alien dudes, just like this, the free men. Well I met one of those dudes and that was freaking wild. <laughs> that dude looked like he was right there. He looked so real. I was like, "That's that's some crazy shit." Like, like Valve comes back out there all these years and like again, just like knocks it out of the park, which is crazy. But, but yeah, that's I mean, that's some good shit. I mean, Valve is great, except for they can't count to three. Like, e- e- even the Half Life Alex is technically there are more than three Half Life games, but they're not considered Half Life three. Because they can't count to three. That's what that's what I'm saying. They can't count to three. Yeah, that's and nice. and also it because it, there's a game that I had had on the Oculus Store called like Zero something. It's a shooter game, and it's very realistic. It's like too realistic to where like, okay, I just want to shoot some motherfuckers. I'm like having to put the ammo and like in my belt, and then I take it and cock. You know, pull the pin back and do the thing, and have to take the safety off. And I was like, okay, that's too much. When in Alex, you just put the ammo in the bottom of the gun, and you click the B button, and that pretty much sets the pin. You know, it, it does the VR thing to where you want to be immersed, but it's not so crazy to where you're like doing all this motion and stuff, and like you're you're dead before because <laughs> you know. But it, the but it's blood and Left 4 Dead comparison video showed that Valve made that genre happen. Um, I thought I thought the Left 4 Dead was pretty much already made, and then they turned that they 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 brought those people in to make Left 4 Dead. You know what I mean? That's the same thing they did with Portal, right? Portal was a uh was a a a a, a school project that they you know. And they they won some sort of competition. Some. Um, well, I think what the original idea of if it was true for Left 4 Dead as well was definitely not the full thing. You, you know, the Portal thing was probably maybe a level. You know what I mean? It wasn't what we got, and they just released it. Was, it. I think I think if I'm not mistaken, I watched a um whole I watched a whole director's commentary on Portal. Uh-huh. And Left 4 Dead. I think Portal was called Narvacular Drop or something like that. It was really, um, it was it was like it, there was a game there, um, and then like th- they graduated, and Valve was like, "Come work for us." And it was just like, "Oh, okay, we can go work for you." And then they made it, and then it was like, "All right, cool." But like Back for Blood and Left 4 Dead, like like you don't need to see you don't need to see a comparison video. Well, maybe Blue does because he doesn't like Left 4 Dead. Um, the I mean, it's 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 really. I mean, well, back for blood. It's like for one, I, I'm like dismissing them because now they're like in you know the pocket of Tencent, so it's probably going to be like a Fortnite like microtransaction haven. It's probably going to go free to play, you know, because that's what Tencent right. likes. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, right. so yeah, that's uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, so they'll I- they'll get paid. But that means, it, it, you know, it was very obvious. It's very obvious the comparisons between the two. But I mean, it's obvious to everybody who who isn't blue. Mm-hmm. Blue refuses to play Left 4 Dead because he blames it for for Red Ring. Which I mean, you know that Red Rings was just it's the shit was going to happen. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she was going to happen at some point. But um, but um, I but I I watched the develop the the commentary for that one too. Um. That I played it, but I have negative connotations. Um, I, I back Back for Blood was cool, and it was a it was a pretty decently made game. The game was just too fucking hard. 
Like it's it's just it was just too hard. They threw way too much at you. Uh, especially when you're just playing on the normal difficulty. It's like, yo, this is not normal difficulty stuff. Like, hopefully, it's, you know, through patches and shit like that, they fix that. But, like, most of us have moved on. Like, yeah, you know. it's just, I don't know, man. It's, oh, another killer app. If you're, if you have, like, a VR, fucking we're Tetris. Not, we're not you know, you know, Tetris. That I, you know that I hate VR podcast, right? We're yeah, not about to make the VR cast. Like, yeah, I know, but the, 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 I, I've got to say it though. Fucking Tetris effect is legit. I saw a video where a Tetris grandmaster uh, played the VR version of Tetris. I'm guessing it's the same game that you're talking about. Yeah, and the it made the the VR version made him better. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, VR version of Tetris made him better. It was just like, just being completely immersed in it, and like, it made him a better Tetris player. Because like, because like, once you get like 10 lines, the the stuff starts more flowing around you, and the music kicks in, and the beat is vibrating with your hand, your joy, uh, whatever you call those things, and uh, but yeah, it, it's, it's a very cool experience. Very relaxing. Actually. But yeah, the, the Left 4 Dead, like, uh, it's weird because when, I didn't even know who Turtle Rock was until Evolve, because I think in Left 4 Dead, they were still part of Valve. They didn't even have their own name, right? Yes, I believe so. They they, they gained that name when they left Valve. Okay. I think I think that's what it. I think what it was. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, um, Blue said he's interested in an Oculus Quest too. He may check it out at some point. Yeah, that that's uh, what that's what we have here. The um, and then the link. Oh, a, a little porner because because we're always about like getting things on the cheap. It's like we got a twenty dollar link cable off of Amazon. That shit disconnected and disconnected and disconnected. The 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 official Oculus link cable is eighty dollars, but it works. It's a, it's not a, it's a 3.0 USB, right? That's USB-C. But to make it to where it's as fast as the Oculus needs for a regular USB, that thing is thick as fuck. It's like heavy. But so the, the Oculus one is a fiber optic cable. So it's very thin and it's a lot faster and I have no disconnects. But it's also USB-C to USB-C. So you have to have a USB-C connector on your PC. My actual but unless you have some sort I, of converter. I think I have one because this computer uh came Oculus ready. At the time it was Oculus ready out the out the out the box. Well I mean you may be able to get a if you don't have the actual con USB C um connector, you may be able to get a um a USB three point oh C to regular uh, USB I guess. But it's still gotta be a three point oh no, I have a, I have one, I have one. It's a, I have, uh, it actually has a the the Oculus symbol, that oval. Okay. Like I said this this when I bought this PC years ago, is it was Oculus ready. Okay, cool. That's what it said on the box. So that's why I was like, okay, this seems like a pretty good, a pretty good deal for five hundred fucking dollars. I mean, I got it. You know, it was on sale after Black Friday, but I spent five hundred dollars on this thing, and it was uh, after. You know, it was Oculus ready, so I knew it was, it was. I knew it was a decent PC, you know. Which I mean, it 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 held me down for a long time. It just don't hold me down anymore. If I want to play something, um, all right. So does that's all you played? Um, I think so. Like, uh, just trying out the VR stuff. Let, let me look on my little. There might be something crazy I want to talk about. Okay, while you while you while you look for that, let me talk about Halo real quick. Okay, I, I played a shit ton of Halo. I played a ton of Halo. My man's in them. Um, the 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 homies that actually got me started playing Halo, uh, kind of came back around. Um, with with when the new Halo came out, so I've been playing a lot with them more one more than the other. I've been so I've been playing a ton of Halo, and there's times where like when I was sick and I was sleeping all day after I got out of work, um, I would just wake up and it'd be like midnight, and then like me and my homie would be playing till like three o'clock in the morning. Um, you know, we did that twice during the weekend, mm -hmm. um, and and so I've been playing a lot of Halo. There's been a lot of losing. 
Yeah. Because I'm not I'm not good enough to win every single time. But yo, dog, sometimes sometimes when I feel in the flow, and sometimes I just I just get in the zone and I'm just like, yo, feel like my old self. Like I was like, I feel like the surgeon right now. Like I don't feel like Scarfinger no more. I feel like the surgeon. Um You're like, holy like, shit, it's, it's 2001. Let's listen to some Limp Biscuit while I play this. <laughs> Yeah, man. Um, I um, but yeah, I just getting in and just playing, and then like during this week, it's been the only thing that I've really played. Um, and so like I ended up buying this. The, I ended up buying the season pass, which is only eight ninety nine. I didn't buy the, the. I didn't buy the extra one. Uh, you know, the the one that costs more that gives you like XP boosts and all of this kind of extra shit. Um, I'm like, nah, I ain't, I ain't about to spend all of that money for it. But I was earning a bunch of stuff but it was telling me like hey if you would have had the season pass you would have had this though yeah and so like i didn't i didn't want my i didn't want was my it, dude to look regular i didn't want it, my dude to look regular no more is it like destiny to where like if you level up and then you retroactively get the season pass you'll get all the stuff yes, absolutely it did okay. it did do that for me. okay um and so and then they, they they brought the event back this week i think it ends today um that they brought the the samurai thing where you can un- unlock the samurai armor. Oh, okay. So at first, started playing. I just wanted to play long enough to earn the samurai. Armor. Okay. Then just like yo, really kind of knocking these weekly challenges out because the 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 weekly challenges is how you unlock the levels to go to the samurai armor. So. Is so like some of the challenges went specifically for that, and all of those were for whatever the event was for, which was Fiesta. Oh, fucking Fiesta is so much fun. Fiesta is so much fun. Uh, for people who don't know what Fiesta is, it's uh, a Halo match, but you start with random weapons. Um, and so it, it could be anything, but melee weapons rule the roost. Unless it's a, unless it's the big maps, the the two maps where people are kind of far away from each other, um, m- melee weapons rule the roost. If you got a hammer or a sword, you are pretty much in there, and you can you can put in some real work. Um, but I, so I really played just long enough to unlock the samurai stuff. But then I just I, like I said, I just realized that I was knocking out this stuff, so I just kind of kept going, and I was like, yo. I have never I have never done one of these things like in any game that I've played um I have never been that guy that wants to do all of the challenges in a week right, like, right. you know what I mean I have never been that guy I play games for fun I don't play games for challenge you know what I mean that's that's kind of been my motto forever I play games for fun I don't play for challenge and like a good thing that the halo one thing that halo well, does challenges do, are they're called challenges but they're not really challenging are they they're just kind of like busy work, right? Some of them, some of them were. But here's one cool thing about Halo, especially once you unlock that season pass, the the battle pass, you start unlocking these things called challenge swaps. So let's just say you get a challenge and it's for something that you know that you're not going to do. Like you say, okay, you need to do this thing in big team battle, or you need to do this. You need to get a certain amount of points in ranked matches and stuff like that. Me, I'm not playing the ranked matches. I don't care about ranked matches. Uh, it does. It doesn't do anything for me. Like I said, I play for fun. I don't play for challenge. I don't care about ranked matches at all. But I've been I've been living in basically three playlists all week: Fiesta, Team Slayer, Tactical Slayer. Pretty much all week that's that's pretty much all i've done all week except for the one time where i ran out of challenge swaps um and i had to do a couple of things in free for all it's the only time that i went outside of those two things i did my free for all shit and i came right back but the challenge swaps what it does is if you get something that you don't normally do you can you can swap it and it'll swap you out for another challenge like that yeah the other challenge that you swap it to may be some bullshit that you don't want to do either but you know, if the more you earn these challenge swaps, the more of a chance that you have to actually get some shit that you that you might actually do. So, like that kind of worked to my advantage, and I finished finished a weekly, and I was like, "Holy shit, I'm proud of myself," because I've never done that shit before in any vi- fucking video game. In any video game, I've never done that shit before. I mean, okay. I've never, I've never done the weekly thing. I, I never really cared about the weekly thing in Killing Floor. I have done the seasonal stuff. 
I have done the seasonal stuff, but that that stuff doesn't matter the same way that this mattered to me. Right. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> even um, even like the microtransactions in 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 Killing Floor just seemed um like I don't really care. I just want to kill zombies. You know what I mean? Yes, absolutely. And the cool thing about Killing Floor is like if somebody if somebody in the game got the microtransactions, you got it for this game too. Only, only one person had to have it. Well, I guess the only thing that I would like in Destiny, I would do like the weekly and daily bounties of a certain area, but I'm not doing all the weekly and daily bounties for all the areas. I'll just be like, I'm doing Earth today. <laughs> right. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, so I'm never, I've never done that before, but that shit, I actually did it, and 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 I really, it made me fucking, I I I, I was proud of myself. You know, it's one of those things to where it's like it, this shit didn't mean nothing to nobody. But shit, I went through all of the stuff, and then once I got to, once I thought I was finished, then I had to play like seven Fiesta matches, and like people kept getting off, and so like it was just me and my homeboy, and it was like, okay, so what we doing next? I'm playing seven Fiesta matches. I'm getting this shit done today. That was yesterday. Um, it's like I'm getting this shit done today. I don't care. This shit gonna take me to midnight. And I know I got to go to work tomorrow, but I'm playing these seven fucking Fiesta matches. Um, well, I knew I was recording this today, so that's part part of the reason why I did it. Um, so I was like, I'm playing these fucking Fiesta matches, and and it wasn't it wasn't anything crazy. I just had to play all the matches. Yeah. And fucking that shit was that shit that shit was a it was a good fucking feeling. Now that let's be honest, the prize for doing the weekly not worth everything that I had to do to get through that weekly. What was the prize for the week? A red visor for your samurai class. That could look cool. Yeah, but here's the thing about the samurai class. Okay. You don't really have a whole lot of different colors. Like, you gotta, like, either buy or, like, unlock the different colors and shit like that. Which, um, I only have... I have the default. Uh, I have the default one. And then I had that one that they gave us when uh, Halo first started. When you had the, the kind of the Pepsi colors. It was red, white, and blue. Yeah. Um, I have that. Those are the only two colors that I have. So, like, I can put on the red, white, and blue and then put on the red mask, and I guess that makes me feel okay. But <laughs> it, it, it definitely wasn't worth it. But, like, I was unlocking I was unlocking some other cool stuff. Like, I unlocked, um, uh, you know, because the regular battle pass is, the, is basically based off of reach. Like, the further you go, the more reach-type stuff that you unlock. Uh, and so right now I'm rocking um, Carter, a whole shit like Carter from Reach. I, I got his his whole his whole armor set. The only the only the only problem that I have with that you can't change anything about it. If you want to be Carter, you Carter. Uh, you you can't change you can't change no colors. You can't change no components. You can't change nothing. You want to be Carter? You are Carter. <laughs> I did, however, unlock um, the I I unlocked the Omega. Um, helmet from Red versus Blue, you know the the big the Chrome Dome. Yeah, I did unlock that. Um, it, you know, it's, I unlocked I, I unlocked quite a bit of stuff, and that's just me playing and just unlocking the stuff through the battle pass. So I I don't I'm, I haven't gotten very far. Like I'm like a level like eighteen or eighteen to twenty. I'm somewhere in that range. Um, as far as unlocking stuff, I know that um Scott said that he is way past me when it comes to all of this. Um. Scott said he plays every morning. I, I haven't really been on it like every day, like like that. But I'm really, I'm really, really enjoying Halo. And like Halo has kind of like re reignited my my the love that I used to have for Versus. <clears throat> you know, it's um, funny. Because- um, my this was back earlier in the year. My son wanted to play Halo One with me, like multiplayer. But the only map he wanted to play on. Was Blood Gulch because he's like, I want to be on the red versus blue map, <laughs> so wow. we can play red versus blue. And I was like, okay, so we just wow. like we we it's just the map of snipers. <laughs> Pretty much you can't do shit else if it's just if it's just y'all. You right? Can't do shit else. <laughs> but yeah, man. So I've been playing a lot of Halo, and I'm really enjoying my time with Halo. Um, I am going to be um, running my homeboy, who I've been playing Halo with. I am going to start him off in the division, the first one. He said he started it, but he didn't really get very far. He just kind of stopped playing because he had nobody to play with. So 
Um, I'm gonna jump back into the um, division one, and we're gonna just run through the campaign. And then, and and then if if he likes it, then he'll get two, and I'll I'll delete a character and I'll start over and I'll run with him through that too. I would but, um yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should at some point just like get another Xbox because I don't. I told you go and get that S though. I mean, we, you can't find an X. Yeah, it, it's just um it'd be nice to play some Division because I've been thinking about Division One actually, like because it's got that like well it's. It's sad because well, well it's Christmassy because everything with the shit at, on <laughs> Black Friday, but like it, it it does. I played it around Christmas when I first got it, mm-hmm. and then like because it so it has this like to me it's a Christmas game, you know, <laughs> you know. So like, yeah. so yeah, I, I wouldn't mind playing that again because I, I really enjoyed that game. It's just um when I was playing it, nobody else was, so I mostly played it solo and. I mean, that stuff is pretty fucking hairy if you're so on. <laughs> very much so. Okay, um, I'm not going. I'm not going to talk much about what I've been watching because uh, I think this is, you know, I don't want to run this thing too long. I'm gonna say this though: Cobra Kai is still the shit, dog. Uh, uh, yeah. Season four, season four came out last Friday, I think. Oh, hold on, it came out. Came out. It came out New Year's Eve. Came out New Year's Eve, and I watched the whole season that day. Then I talked my daughter into watching it, so we started off from the beginning, and we got a little bit into season one. And when she left and went back home that Sunday, I finished off season one, and I watched two, three, and four again. So, <laughs> so, <clears throat> so I've watched, I watched it all over again. <clears throat> fucking Cobra Kai is a great fucking show. It's the greatest show that y'all motherfuckers ain't watching. Like yeah, I said, I, I, I want to. <clears throat> I, I just. Um, I mean, I have the first Karate Kid. I I just don't have the other ones. Like the um, I, I would like to watch them again before I do. Like I just want to. No, no, uh, I, you don't. You don't need to watch them. All you need to know is the the, the I, points. I I know yeah. that you need. I, you don't need to watch them. I just I said I want to watch them. Okay, so here's here's what I'll say. All are all the movies on Netflix? Because I know at one point they were not. Well, I I own. The first one, so I would, I can probably get like a pack of them. You need, like, you only need the first movie for the first season. Okay. After the first season, then you need to know some of the beats of two and three. You don't need next. You don't need the Kung Fu Kid that they called the Karate Kid for some strange fucking reason. Um, this they, yeah, they put all the movies on Netflix the same day that season four of Cobra Kai released. Okay. Um, so, okay, y'all, so yeah, I'll watch through them. Like, I, it's just been so long. I would like to like kind of refresh myself. No, I'm telling you, if you, watch, watch, mm. watch one. You got it. Watch one. All right. But also, if you want to have a better understanding of Johnny's character, you need to also rewatch. Daniel is the bully YouTube video. Okay, because that is one hundred percent what Dan, what 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 um, what Johnny actually thinks. It's how Johnny presents it when he tells the story about what happened. He presents it the same way of the way that that story was presented. That is is hilarious. It's hilarious. I even like, I don't know. He just kind of showed up and my life went to shit. You know what I mean? Like that type of thing. <laughs> um. Uh, that 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 type of thing, but like, yeah, that's it's so good, it's so good, it's so 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 good, and like, people have come, people from the other movies have come back. You've seen like some some main characters of the other movies that you thought you would never see again have been here, uh, and it's fucking dope. The guys who created the show are super fans of the Karate Kid movies super fans of the karate kid movies and you can tell the the love and the passion that they have for the karate kid that they put into cobra Kai. so that i won't say nothing else but do that as soon as you possibly can Ooh. guarantee you you will not be able to put this shit down like i said i've watched i've watched every time a new season comes out i've watched it in one sitting and turn it off and turn it off. And it's it's basically five hours. It's uh ten episodes. They usually run a half an hour. Sounds good. Yeah, 
Yeah, so so no no actually Chase um he said that's why he think after season one of Cobra Kai Chase needs to watch Karate Kid two. No, he needs to watch two and three. He watched two and three after the first season. It is really, really that good of a show. I cannot speak any more highly of Cobra Kai. I'm not I wasn't the, I'm wasn't like the biggest karate kid fan. Like you know what I mean? I watched the movies, it was cool, it was cool, you know what I mean? Like I never wanted to be Daniel. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, everybody wanted to be, everybody wanted to be Mr. Miyagi. Like we didn't want to be Daniel. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. like we wanted to we wanted to be Arnold from Happy Days. You know what I mean? Like, okay, I'm old. Um, like we wanted to be Arnold from Happy Days. But um, but yeah, I was never a big fan. I did watch the movies. I did I did enjoy the movies. I even enjoyed three. It, I really did. I, I even enjoyed three at the time. I probably wouldn't like three now. But with Pooh Bear, I just I just say fuck all of this shit. We just watch YouTube recaps of fucking movies because like you don't need you don't necessarily need the whole movies. I know you want to watch the whole movies. You don't need the whole movies. You just need to know the 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 the, the real story beats. You know. But yeah, yeah. I, I, I've been watching a few things. So I, I mean, of course, well, well, we've been going back through some uh, David Lynch movies. So we watched Eraserhead, and then I watched the uh, Elephant Man for the first time. That's actually a Lynch movie I've never seen before. And it's a good movie, but we didn't really um, have much to say about it. It's just a solid movie. There's not really much to say about it. It's not as weird and crazy as and it, a lot of the other and, David Lynch movies. They made a movie about the reggae artist? Huh? Nothing. Over your head. You said they made a movie about the reggae artist. Oh, I thought you said the radiator artist. I was like, no. they get out. I was like, is that a... Eraser head pull because there's a there's a lot of things with the radiator in that movie. <laughs> I thought I thought about the the reggae artist recently because I saw someone is playing. I saw someone was playing um, F Jam Fight for New York on um, on uh, just on YouTube videos. They started they started playing that game, the emulator. I'm guessing, mm-hmm. and um, he's he's one of the characters. That's the that's the only reason why I thought of the Elephant Man just now. Oh, okay. Well, the Elephant Man is about the guy in like the 1890s. He had a lot of deformities, and he was forced to like be in a freak show and whatnot. And they called him the Elephant Man and whatnot. And the uh, the doctor takes him in and you know keeps him comfortable and gives him a a real life. So it's a. I mean, it's a nice. It's a. It's a good movie. But just I'm saying though. I get. I live by myself. I can't really participate in recreational sadness right now, because like that shit will take me somewhere, and I can't. I can't afford to be anywhere but here. Right. And I can't afford like when you live by yourself and you ain't got nobody to really talk to a whole lot of times, and like you know, if, you know, all your friends and stuff, they got families and stuff like that, and you can't just pick up the phone and call somebody all the time, bruh. You can't participate in recreational sadness. Like that's right. not something that I can do. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. The um. But the weird thing is we're talking about the Elephant Man, but it's not coming out until a week from now. I was a week late editing the podcast, so I was like, well, you know what? Let's do this a week out. And then I have a week to edit. I also have a week to reschedule the podcast, so we're editing and then posting a week later. So Elephant Man, our next one will be the, the um, Dune, which is David Lynch's least favorite movie he's ever done because he had the least creative control over that movie. But um, so yeah, the next one's Dune. The, the old Dune and not the new Dune. The, the old Dune, yeah, the one from the eighties. Okay. But uh, but that but that got him in contact with Kyle McLaughlin or whatever his name is. So then he did Blue Velvet, which is a crazy fucking surreal movie. But um, but yeah, so that, that's. Gonna I be- have no idea any of the fucking movies you're talking about right now. I know, but now you do. But but yeah, uh, and I've always been. I've been re-watching The Office because I, I was like, fuck it. I'll just buy all these motherfuckers on DVD and put them on Plex because one of my main projects this time was to add a new hard drive to add more space to where I can start putting things on Plex again. Because that's also kind of fun for me. It was like kind of therapeutic, ripping movies, encoding them and doing that. It was like kind of a kind of a reset, you know what I mean? It's like the, kind of this busy work, like, therapeutic thing it's weird but um especially with a show because the show is like a lot of a a lot to do you know because you gotta like each episode is a video file but um 
but I've been doing that, and then when we got the Oculus, uh, the Oculus software to like use it as a Rift to play like things like Half Life Alex, you have to plug it into the computer, and you have to use the Oculus software. The Oculus software will only install on the C drive. I don't install shit on my C drive other than like small programs that like like Steam itself. But big programs I install on D or E. E is Plex, D is games, C is Windows and main programs. So I tried to install the Oculus. I didn't have a space, so I had to move. I was trying to move my Plex metadata, which is also on C. That's not your Plex movies. It's like your titles, your collections, everything, like all that kind of stuff, user data. That's in your metadata. So I moved that to D, and it fucked up. Okay. Uh, he asked if we were on the Dexter New Blood. I clocked out on Dexter at the wrong possible time. And because I clocked out on Dexter at the wrong time, I um, I refused to go back because someone told me about what happened at the time when I left. And then my, my, my ex-wife actually did finish it. But I clocked out on Dexter because I thought it was getting stupid. But I stopped right before the John Lithgow season. Which supposedly is the worst possible time you could have stopped watching Dexter. Because that's the best season. <laughs> yes, that's what people say. I don't know. Any, I, I don't know. I, I do know what happens at the end of the season. Um, like I said, I, I know some spoilers about what happened after. Yeah, yeah see, um, with me, I, I don't mind getting spoiled because I can kind of like set myself up to. I just hate spoiling things for other people. Like, so, like, sometimes I'll know, like, who the killer is but then i'm like but i don't know the journey you, yeah. you know what i mean and then, uh, also i um one a lot of times when i was when i was watching dexter in the original days i was bit torn in a lot and then when i was like when i would bit torn some dexter for like sam then my isp would come looking for me yeah so sam sam uh, sam got me got me fucked up in the game a couple times so i stopped watching it because i'm it you wasn't did, like I'm vpn man paper. <laughs> nah, I'm fuck, fuck a VPN. But I'm, I'm not about to. I'm, I'm not about to sell these CDs anymore. It's just not. I'm just not about that life anymore. But, but yeah, like so that fucked up my my metadata, right? So like, then all of a sudden my metadata was fucked up. I was like, how can I get this right? Because now the Oculus is on there. I can't put my metadata back. So now I was like, fuck it. I've needed to do this for a long time. So then I got me a new C drive, a one terabyte SSD. Re, uh, Fresh install of Windows, which is something I dreaded, but it was actually really... I knew it was going to be easy, but like, it's still... I still dreaded it, man. But it was like, super easy. I, I Only thing is that all my OBS stuff, I kind of had to redo. But OBS, it really needed overhaul, because a lot of those scenes is shit that I was doing way back in the day that I'm not doing anymore, like the shit I was doing with, like, our humble videos. Yeah, I'm not doing that shit. You know what I mean? Like, right. so, now I just right. have the podcast and stuff. So, everything's, like, super clean. I've got plenty of fucking space. And I'm actually going to be helping Sam install a hard drive, because he's a little nervous about it, but he's just installing a D drive, which is a lot easier. But you still got to know to partition it out, or it ain't going to work. <laughs> but, <laughs> so, yeah. It's been a while since I did anything like that. Long while. Yeah. All right, man. Do um, you got anything else you want to talk about to the people? No, uh, not really, man. I mean, I still enjoy the office. I mean, it's still like a veg out show for me. Never got into the office. I but you said you, you 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 just watched the first season, which I I wouldn't say no, not to I watch. Started, I started the second season. I just was like, I don't care about this at all. Okay. And I own the first season actually. <laughs> um, like I I own the first season. Um, I own both versions of the first season. The, the BBC one, too? At one point, I owned it. Because people talk so highly of it, I just bought it. Yeah, because the, well, the first season of The Office is like six episodes. And yeah, the first episode is a shot-by-shot remake of the first episode of the BBC one. But diverse, Diversity Day onward, they really get their toes into it. But the first episode of the second season, they pretty much, they're, they're on their own, and they pretty much make a name for themselves at that point. But like... Like, to me, season two to three, actually two to four is like the golden age, I guess. But some of that shit is just so good. Yeah, Brandon from one of the other shows keep trying to convince me to watch Kirby Enthusiasm, and I'm like, no. Uh, 
I did Curb Your Enthusiasm, but I, I, I wouldn't say that's a Scarfinger show. It, it just don't seem like something for me at all. I, I, I could see you watching The Office over Curb Your Enthusiasm. And I can't deal with The Office. I just I try I try with The Office. I try with Mad Men at the time. I just couldn't. I just couldn't keep going. Like it was just it just didn't work for me the same way it seemed to be working for everyone else. I'm surprised I got into Breaking Bad the way that I did. But that's probably something that's coming up um, on one of the other podcasts, Breaking Bad, at some point because uh, Brandon hasn't seen it. Um, it's like there's a bunch of stuff that Brandon hasn't seen, like Sopranos and stuff like that. He hasn't seen, so eventually we're gonna go there. Um, but oh. we'll say Happy New Year, fellas, and uh, thanks for the show. Happy New Year's, dog. We we back. Woo-hoo. Yeah, man. I'm gonna have to add 2022 to the copyright in the show notes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to, I'm, I made it through the show just fucking guzzling, cough drops, and I have not had a coughing fit all show. I had this big ass bag of fucking cough drops. I had to buy this big ass bag because it's the only bag I could find that was that was sugar free. Like finding cold stuff around here and cough drops and shit like that is incredibly difficult to find right now in Richmond. It's bad. It's like real bad. I had to spend like seven fucking dollars for that big ass bag of cough drops. But now you have a big ass bag of cough drops and you'll be like, you know, it lasts you to your next sickness too. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, man. I think that's it for us for today. Um, it, there, there was some other things to discuss, but I'm, I don't, I don't want to stretch the show out longer than it has to be because most of the other stuff that I would talk about are things that I've already talked about. Um, so, and happy new year's, happy new year everyone I, I i had to try to work myself out of not adding that s to new year's you know what i mean yeah that, so happy new year to everyone um we're happy uh, we're happy to be back in your ear holes um and and i think we're gonna be back with some more hotness um i enjoyed this show i'm glad that i survived it because I didn't know if I was going to survive it uh, by the way I was feeling. But, of course, I, t- I knew I took that medicine right before the show. And it made me come up out that, it made me come up out that jacket about halfway through. Um, so, yeah, I don't feel that great right now. But, like, we got it done, dog. Yeah, man. All right. So, until next time, um, peace out to the Warriors. Um, um, there was something else I was going to say. And I cannot remember. So, you know, do the things. Um if whatever app that you're using, like it, share, subscribe, leave them, leave a message. I tell your mom and them, tell your cousin and them, um, leave comments, um, leave reviews, um, where, wherever you can. Um, but if you do, let us know so we know where to go. Find, we, we know where to go looking. Also, uh, Spotify. If you want to give us money, we'll become a Spotify only podcast. But you know, <laughs> yeah. But then I would never listen. <laughs> you never listen to the stuff you're on anyway. <laughs> Correct. Um, yeah, so, like, yeah, there's thing, Spotify, um, I, I, I think still, like, a big deal, uh, for, uh, Spotify isn't that big of a deal as a, as a place for us, as some other places, but, you know what, Spotify. Yeah. And he said, Rex is the greatest companion of all time. No, thank you. I sent him a list. Someone did a list where they compiled all of the Mass Effect, um, uh, companions and well, the, the Mass Effect um, sidekicks, even Andromeda. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you about these motherfuckers. You know who was number one on this list? Who? Thane. Thane. Yeah, Thane. I'm the a only... I'm a dude in this Garrus. <laughs> it's 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 definitely Garrus. Like I don't know why I don't know why Blue is insists that it's Rex. Let me tell you, Rex is eleven. Rex is 11 on this list. It's like, whoa, dog. And I'm not even that fucking bad. Like, you know what I mean? I know that Rex Re- is top five. Right, yeah. <laughs> no, Rex is top five. Like, he, you know, depending on how I'm feeling, like, he can go, like, different ways. Like, Liara wasn't that high. Like, it was we- it's weird. And then, like, man, they... Um, how is... Uh, I don't even know anybody that put uh, takes Thane. Who takes Thane places? Exactly. Exactly. I mean, I like, like Thane, like as a character, but we're talking yeah, about like, like combat, right? Like not like who I like as a character. Is that yeah, what the they, list look, was about? No, nah, they, they were talking about like their stories and their side, their 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 uh, loyalty missions and all of this kind of stuff. Like all of that stuff mattered, to, I guess, in their rankings. But I'm like, how is Liara 
not second. You know what I mean? Like, how is she not second here? Yeah. Yara is Bay. Why the fuck is she not second? This is ridiculous. This list when when I was, when yeah. I watched this, that's, now, this, that's a person now, this where list, you have to know the person like maybe that they they either had like some sort of a strange relation with their father or they have that with their son or whatnot and that that story like really hit them and they're like thane, 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 thane. But then like I don't know. Oh no. But I will say that um the what you call it, the the chick that I was watching play through the games, um, she was really, really up on Thane. She was really, really up on Thane, and I didn't I didn't understand that either. Um Thane was her love interest mm-hmm. um in, in the games. So I didn't really get that either because it's like I mean Space Kanye is right there. Now I get it. Space Kanye is gonna leave you at two. Um you, you can be gone for like six months and he's gonna go, go get another chick pregnant. But still <laughs> Space Kanye was right there. That's a pretty big, but still, man. <laughs> but still, I mean, Space Kanye was there though. But um, but I mean, Liar. But you know who's always gonna be there if you're a girl, Garrus. <laughs> yeah, you know, I um, I but and the crazy part about it is they added the Andromeda characters, right? Okay. Just so they can put PB in the top ten, all the rest of them were all near the bottom. I can see that PB's cool. That PB is not PB is not cool enough to. That's the only reason why I'm adding the rest of these motherfuckers to my list. Well, I well, why don't you do like we're only doing top ten. And if if you don't make the top ten, you're not on the list. And the only thing that makes the list is PB. P, PB he said PB is annoying, son. I I think so. Now I hit it the first time. The first time I played, I hit PB. I, I think uh, pretty quick. I, I think the um that female Turian was pretty cool. She's a pretty cool character. Petra? Yeah. On the, the one that might be uh, Saren's daughter? Yeah. I, I like her loyalty mission, too. Yeah, Liam is trash, with the exception of his loyalty mission. It's the funniest It's the funniest mission in Andromeda. <laughs> his, his, his mission is funny as fuck, and that's the only reason, that's the only thing that's redeemable about Liam. So what, what would you think if I was like, hey, Scar, come over for extra life? And we're going to do a thing, and you come over, and me and Max are, like, hanging out with our shirts off. <laughs> this motherfucker came to Andromeda with a couch. Run, Scar. Couch. Run. A raggedy-ass couch. Like, this, this, is, this, this, nigga came, uh, this nigga came to Andromeda. 600 years sleep. A couch. He's like... <laughs> He said, I, I slept for 600 years and I want to sleep for 600 more on this couch. <laughs> on this couch. That's some bullshit. But anyway. That yeah, couch I, is his, uh, what, what's that song from like the Twilight movies? The 500 I, years or. <laughs> I have. <laughs> a thousand years. Again, that, that's a song he have, sings about the couch. <laughs> I have never seen Twilight. I've only seen the beginning of the first movie and then I fell asleep and I woke up doing the credits. I actually, wow, I did the same. Space high five, I guess. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he's in Blue Say in a gasoline powered car. Like, where the fuck are you gonna get gas from, dog? He's gonna power it with the cat. Just grind him up and. <laughs> so fucking. Uh, man, it's. So, it's man. Um, this this year has been crazy already. We lost a whole lot of people already. We just lost a Bob Saget. Bob, Bob Saget. Betty White ain't make it. Like right. she was almost a hundred. She ain't make it. Fucking um, James and Tumay did not make it. Um, fucking um, his name. Um, um, uh, uh, James and Tumay. Um, he made uh, Juicy Fruit, which became uh, the Notorious Big's Juicy. That, that's that's how most people know him. I know him from other things, but James and Tume made Juicy Fruit, which became it was all a dream like that. It became that you wouldn't have that song without Juicy Fruit. I mean, so it's a piece to James and Tume. Um, and then um, Sydney Portier in the heat of the night, dog. Like, do you know how many times I had to watch it in the heat of the night with my grandma? Dude, like, I, I, that show was on. At, at, uh, when I went to my dad's, at, not not this past time, but it was on when when I went over there one time, and there, there was an episode on about you know it's always about something, but like it's something random. But like I was like, man, this is a good show. Like I was like into that shit. 
<laughs> that's, that's what was good. And I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what the fuck that nigga was on where he actually did the um where he did the 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 theme song. Right. But that motherfucker sang the fuck out of that shit in the heat. Like he hit that bitch. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he hit that bitch. Like so. Like shout out to the dude who sang the theme song to in the heat of the night. You know what I mean? Like shout out to that. Because like whoever that was, he hit that bitch. <laughs> well, we talking about Bill Cosby. What's going on? No, he said Sydney Portier uh and um and Bill Cosby did uh Let's Do It Again. That was a good fucking that was a funny ass movie, yo. <laughs> I know we ain't really supposed to fuck with Bill Cosby, but like I said, I already wasted my money on it. I think I got Let's Do It Again somewhere around here. Well, yeah. So, all right. So we out here for real, though. Peace out to the Warriors. Uh, we back in your ear holes again in another yeah, two th- weeks. Yeah, I think we talked for like twenty minutes after the peace out to the Warriors yeah. this time. <laughs> yeah, it's Blue's fault. Talking about freaking Mass Effect. Yeah, but Blue, uh, Blue said he's gonna watch that video. Uh, dear, bruh, you gonna be so mad, dog. Like I already, I already spoiled the most Im- important thing that's gonna make you the maddest. How the fuck is thing number one? Like. Their reasoning doesn't even make no sense. It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense at all. And there's some there's some notable. Where, where notable. was Tolly? Where was Tolly? Tolly is up there. I think I think I know she was top ten. If I'm not mistaken, she's top ten. Okay. But I'm I'm gonna have to go back to it. I posted I posted it in the thing. I'm gonna put it into ours also because I shared I shared it specifically with Blue, knowing that it would piss Blue off that uh, that Rex was eleven. He didn't even make the 10. <laughs> so I'm going to put that into our shop box. I think this thing was made like months ago. You know what I mean? So, like, this isn't, this isn't something that's new. Still, it's wrong. I, I, I'll, be, um, I'll be judging people over their tier list on Reddit and straight up, like, Southern woman judging people. <laughs> I think we need to do a, I think we need to do a list. I think we need to do a Mass Effect uh, list. Like maybe one time in between in an in between week, we need to sit down and we need to come up with our list. I think I think we should do that. I think we should sit down and come up with our list. Um, invite some people in if they want to come talk. We cannot invite Blue because Blue is gonna keep trying to ride for Rex to be number well, one. Well, well, the list that I made in the Discord a long time ago was like Mass Effect characters with family issues and Mass Effect characters without family issues, and the only one without family issues is Caden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. but Caden is Mr. Boring I'm, I'm not letting Blue in the show because he's going to try to he said he's down for that I'm not letting him in the show because all he's going to want to do is try to ride for his man Rex and I'm like no Rex can't be number one Rex can be number three at the highest three at the highest well, well then that's when you start getting like I'll trade you this for that you know type thing we gonna have we gonna have to do it, and we gonna have to do it like how they did it, where we do all of them. Um, Andromeda characters too. Also, the Andromeda characters gonna be near the bottom. Though. We didn't. Well, I, and I, I think it's 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 fucked up for the Andromeda characters. But I will say, at last, at last, James Vega. I like Vega. James, James Vega is dead last, and I'm like, don't disagree. But I like Vega. <laughs> don't disagree. <laughs> no, I don't disagree. It lasts, so that's cool. So I'm Vega, gonna, so uh, Liam's over Vega. That, that, that's, Vega is Vega is dead last. It's, that it's that is some cold. Twenty nine. They did not count. Um, didn't count. Um, the 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 people from the Omega DLC where you with um Nareen and um and what's her name from Omega? Uh, I think of her name. Right. Uh, Aria. 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 Yeah. They didn't count those because they temporary. Yeah. And Nyrene is cool. Nyrene is cool. Except for how she went out with some bullshit. <laughs> how Nyrene went out is some bullshit. And I think she deserved better than some somebody who wrote that shit. Um, that bad, like, come on, dog. Nyrene went out on some bullshit. Rest in peace to Nyrene, you know what I'm saying? You'd probably be mid you probably be middle of the pack in my list. Alright, alright, we done for real. Peace out. Later. I like that shit, yeah, boy. I'm telling you, woke. I'm telling. All right, I ain't gonna talk.